Hello, my fellow maniacs. 852 Maniac here today. And I am in the new uh, Game Maker Studio on Steam where uh, you can uh, basically make games and you can put them directly onto Steam. Um, I don't think that you can sell them on here, but this is a good tool. Um, I heard that there's other things if you go to yoyogames.com. There's uh, things, other ones like Game Maker 8 Pro and, and uh, Lite. And uh, so yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Basically, I'm gonna, let me just start off by uh, explaining what's going to be going down in this series. So uh, basically, there's going to be a few seasons, <clears throat> or there will be seasons. Um, in the first season, I'm basically just going to be going through one program and teaching you how to do all the stuff in it. And then I'll go into another program and show you how to make a game in that. So uh, basically, Game Maker is basically the easiest uh, uh, game making software or program out there. Um, you really don't have to code if you don't want to, but there is uh, coding is available to you. It has its own coding language called GML. It's basically kind of like uh, C++, but shortened. Um, so what would take like a hundred uh, lines of code in C++ would take uh, about one or two lines in uh, Game Maker. So let's go ahead and get started. So basically, uh, oh yeah, by the way, the last uh, program I'm going to be teaching you how to use is uh, probably going to be uh, Java Eclipse, and uh, we'll make a game. And uh, so yeah, so let's get started. So basically, up here is your uh, main bar where you're going to be uh, clicking a lot. So uh, here's uh, up here we got this is a new game, this is open a game, this is save your game, and this is export your game. Um, and now when you click this, it'll I think it directly puts it onto Steam. Um, I'm not sure I haven't done it yet. And uh, okay, so let's move on. This is uh, to test your game, to run it, and this is run the game in debug mode. Stop in GINX web server. This is create a sprite, create a sound, create a background, create a path, create a script, create a font, create a, a timeline, create an object, create a room. Um, this is your global game settings and this is your uh, extensions but we don't have any extensions for this yet and that's info or uh, yeah that's help from game maker and up here you can change what you want it to be on if you want to create a windows executable jar file you can do that if you want to create one for Macs, o mac OX, os x you can do that or steam workshop okay so uh... basically what we already made a couple sprites for uh, our game um, this is our player sprite. I'm not the best uh, artist in the world, so uh, forgive it if it looks terrible. I think it looks pretty decent, I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, so basically, there's our guy, our player. We got a zombie for an enemy. Let's go ahead and show you it. Uh, once again, not the best artist. <laughs> it looks terrible, but uh, it's, it's a tutorial series. I could always change it later. You can make your own or whatever. And um, here is our bullet. It's a six. Uh, you really don't need to see it because you'll see it when it shoots. Okay, so your sprites are basically your textures for your game. It's everything that you're gonna be doing has to have, uh, uh, mostly has to have a uh, sprite. So uh, yeah. Also, sprite I think is for the hitbox on here. So uh, that's why they are important. If you're having a player or something, you have to have a sprite or else you won't be able to see nothing on the screen and uh, yeah so let's go ahead and start by making an object now so an object is uh, basically what makes your your character move and this is basically what makes everything happen in the game so let's go ahead and make it obj underscore player sorry about that I took a screenshot hang on okay sorry about that so uh, we got obj underscore player and now let's go ahead and and go right here where it says sprite and you can select the sprite for it and there you go and this is visible solid we don't need to mess with anything with any of that right now but now we're gonna add an event an event is what basically makes everything go so uh, we're gonna create we're gonna make him move today we're not gonna be doing that much coding today we're just gonna be making them move around and all that and just the, the basics so let's go ahead and do right and then you can come over here and of course you can go down and create a code Oh, I should explain these. These are the tabs for uh, your. Um, let's see, what would they be? They'd be like events, basically, kind of like events. So right here we got a move tab. 
all the stuff. You can add gravity, friction, and all that. Um, this is your main tab right here, or your first main tab. You got create an instance, create an instance moving, and all that, all that good stuff. So we'll get into more into these more in the future, because um, we'll probably be using just about every single one of them. So today we're gonna be doing moving. So let's go ahead and grab that. And now we're gonna go. When it moves, it's gonna go right. So you click that right arrow, and you give it a speed that you want it to move at. We're gonna make it move at three, a uh, speed of three today. Um, okay, so now it's moving, and basically we can just copy that, duplicate it, and uh, go key press left, and just do the same thing, except come in here and change that over to the left direction, and then go ahead and duplicate it again, go key press up, oh, I hit change, hang on a minute, let me change it back real fast, sorry about that, alright, let's go ahead and duplicate it this time. All right, so we're gonna go key press up and just change it to the direction up, and then we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again for down. And uh, yeah, so now we got it moves in uh, up, up, left, right, and down directions. And now we want it to make it when you release the key, um, the left key or right key or any of that, it stops. So basically, all you gotta do is go ahead and add an event, key release right. And then come over here and just click that square in the middle. You don't have to give it a speed. It doesn't matter. And uh, there. Now it stops. And now you can just duplicate that for uh, all the other directions. Oops. Let me go ahead and duplicate it. Du ah. Sorry about that. Getting tongue-tied. Left. Cancel. Um, let's go ahead and duplicate that for down and up all right where's oh, there we go sorry about that okay so now we got it it will stop now once we release the keys and it will go when we move the keys so let's go ahead and test this out now we are going to create a room a room is where everything takes place at it's basically like your game window so you come in here and you can zoom out by holding control and scrolling and uh, so we're going to put our guy right in the middle, somewhere around near the middle. And we're going to press OK. And then now let's go ahead and run the game. And everything should work just fine. There we go. So we can move left, right, up, and down. Um, we'll make him rotate in another episode. Uh, but now we want to make it to where he can move, or where he can shoot. So uh, we'll be doing that in the next episode. But uh, yes, yeah, so I want to thank you guys for watching, comment, uh, favorite, and subscribe to my channel. It helps out. There will be more of these uh, videos coming out soon. I'll probably release a few of them a day possibly. Um, not every day, but you know, I'm going uh, to be recording these in a row. So yeah, so you might get a couple of, video, a couple of these vids a day. So anyways, um, comment like I said, favorite, and subscribe. And as always... Don't forget to punch that like button in the face. I'll see you guys next time.